Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna make this poop emoji. Um, the only difference with between this one and this one is needle size. It's the exact same pattern. Um, this one I used a four. This one I used a seven with two pieces of thread. So my hand size comparison, so you can kind of tell how big it is. I crocheted these eyes, but I'm not going to crochet the eyes in this one. I'm going to use felt like I did the mouth because I think it would be a nice, a nicer look. So just give you an idea of the shape. So we are making the bigger one today. And um, if you don't want the bigger one, then um, you just have to use a four needle, same pattern, but use a size four with one piece of yarn. Today we're using a size seven millimeter or K, which is a 6.5 with two pieces of yarn. So let's get started. Oh yeah, before we get started, let me measure this for you so you have an idea. From top to bottom, it's about eight inches, roughly eight inches. The bottom is about four inches wide, give or take. And in centimeters, that's about 10 centimeters wide, maybe 12 centimeters wide, and about 20 centimeters in length. And then the small one, in centimeters is about 11 centimeters tall and about six centimeters seven centimeters six and a half centimeters wide so it gives you an idea oh I'll do this one in inches too so in inches that's about four inches tall and two and a quarter inches wide ish ish so hopefully that gives you some ideas but um, we're gonna make the big one so I've got my seven millimeter I'm gonna use two pieces of yarn So we are just going to make a magic circle. And we're going to put six single crochets into that circle. And close that shut. So we are going to need a stitch marker. So you're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12. So after your first stitch, you want to put a marker. And then your second stitch in the same hole. So two, two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12. It's 
12. You can pull your middle closed. Now, next round is going to be one single crochet, two single crochets. So, one single crochet and the marker that I just tossed <laughs> accidentally. And then the next stitch will get two single crochets. Next stitch gets one. And the next stitch gets two. So we call that an increase. So one single crochet and then the increase. And that's your repeat. And you should end your repeat at the marker. So if you didn't, you probably don't have 18 stitches, which you should have if you've done everything right. So the next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. So one, one, two. So that's our first one. The next stitch is going to get one and the next stitch is just going to get two. So that's your repeat. One, one, all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. So your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase. So you get the pattern that we're doing. And each one goes up by six stitches. So you put six single crochets. So every time you go around it increases by six stitches. So our first round was two, so that's two stitches in each, so that's 12 stitches. Our next round after that was 18 stitches. So do you see the pattern? And that's how you do an increase and, and keep it flat too at the same time. So three single crochets, this being your first stitch, and in your increase. So two in that hole. So one, two, three, and your increase. for a total of 30 stitches when you get back around to your marker. And two in your last stitch, 
at your marker. So you should have a total of 30 stitches. So for your last increase, your last round of increases, you're going to do four single crochets in your increase. So that's one. That's my four and then an increase, so two in the same space. So you're going to do that all the way around for a total of 36. So next we're going to single crochet in the back loops only. So it's going to do the same thing as what it did when we made our bags. This line here, it's going to kind of pull it up and around. So as much of a pain in the bum it is, this is your back loop so it's pretty easy to get into. So we can put our stitch marker and then all your back loops get my pointer they're all looking right at you they're all standing up looking at you so those are the back loops you're going to get into so it should go pretty quickly and don't worry about how it stretches here it'll go back into shape So it actually goes this way. So you can turn your uh, work the right side in. I'm just going to tie a knot here. And then just cut it off. So now, for the next couple of rows, 
you can just do a single crochet all the way around and then we'll start our decrease All right, so now we're going to start decreasing. So we're going to do four single crochets and then a decrease. So let's start with one, our stitch marker. Two single crochets. Three and four. And then to decrease, we're going to do two together. So you go in, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, and you've got three on your hook. You're going to come through all three. And that is how we do two together. So you're going to do it again. You're going to do four single crochets, and then your decrease. There's four. And then two together. So you go into your first stitch, yarn over, your next stitch, yarn over, and come through all three. So you can continue that all the way around and at the end you should have 30 stitches. and two together. So our next row is going to be three single crochets in our decrease. So there's one, two, three, and then our decrease all the way around and at the end you should have 24 stitches. And I've got this extra stitch as I must have screwed up somewhere. So, no big deal. So I'm just going to do those two together and count them as one stitch. So this round we're going to do two single crochets and then our decrease. 
So that's our one stitch, two stitches, and then our decrease. So you should have 18 stitches at the end of this. So in this round, we're going to be working in the front loops only, and now we're going to do an increase. So right now you should have 18 stitches. We're going to be working in the front loops only. So these guys right there. Front loops only. And you're going to do an increase of... one single crochet one single crochet and then the next loop you're going to do two single crochets in that same space so front loops only one one two one one two all the way around so you should have a total of 24 at the end of it So it's the only, only round this point that we're going to do the front loops and uh, the back loops. So the rest of the project is not like this. So your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase under both under both stitches. That's number one. Two, three, and your increase of two in the same stitch. One, two, three, and an increase. So that should have ended up at your marker.
and you should have 30. So for the next round, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. You should have a total of 30 stitches. I have a total of 28, so I've screwed up again somewhere, but it's no big deal. Can't really, can't really make a mess out of poop. Um, <laughs> but so I'm just going to add a couple of stitches along the way, um, just to make it an extra 30, or not an extra 30, just to make it 30. Uh, but you should have a total of 30 stitches. Okay, so we're going to start decreasing again. So our decrease is going to be three single crochets and a decrease. There's one. two together for a decrease. So for our next round, our decrease is going to be two single crochets. And a decrease. So. That's one. That's two. And a decrease. So, 
our next round you could probably put stuffing in this actually let's do that since we're kind of coming to the end of all this So if you push on it and it bounces back, then you have enough stuffing. If it doesn't bounce back, you should probably move your stuffing around or pack it down more firmly. So we can finish stuffing it after. we have just got a few more rows to do. So this next round is going to be a single crochet and then a decrease. So that's my single crochet. That's my decrease. So one single crochet and your decrease. One single crochet and your decrease. So that should give you 12 stitches at the end of this. So if you end up at your repeat at the marker, you've done everything right. You shouldn't have to count it. Just know you have 12 rows or stitches there so we're gonna increase a little bit more and then we're gonna end this so right at the top so your increase is gonna be same as the other ones one single crochet two single crochets so one single crochet in there, two single crochets in the next stitch, all the way around. At the end of it, you should have 16 stitches. So, your next round is just going to be straight up single crochet for 16 all the way around. So your next decrease is going to be one single crochet and a decrease. You can add more stuffing anytime you want. So one single crochet and your decrease.
So, finish putting some more stuffing in there until you're satisfied with how much is in there. Our last bit here is just going to be decreases until you have five stitches and then we're just going to sew the rest of it closed. So I think that's about six, six decreases so we'll see. Doesn't really matter how many we're just going to sew. We're going to make this as small as we can and then we'll just sew the rest. So all decreases, no singles. So, got about one, two, three, four, five. So, I am going, I say that a lot, so you don't have to be super crazy with the tail or anything, you just want to be able to sew it shut and then be able to tuck the rest in, so fasten off. So I'm just going to come along and I'm going to go under those two stitches and I'm going to pull. I'm going to come up through there and down through the next one and up, up through this one and down through the next one and then I'm just going to pull it up that gives it a little bit of a point. Pull up on that, close it as you can see closes that hole right up and generally I would pull down with my projects that I'm pull down and push down with my fingers but this one I actually want to point on the top because it's well it's poop so and then we can just weave this in because you don't want this coming undone or anything Then you can go down and then you can pop out somewhere, kind of go down and through. I don't want to pull too tight because I don't want to lose the point on top. Which right now doesn't have a whole lot of, make sure you cut as close as possible which I don't seem to be having much luck with. So I'm just going to push down and cut. That way it pops back up inside. So I'm just going to move my stuffing around to get it up into that top part. I find it easy to push it on the bottom because you do want the bottom to be somewhat flat so it stands on its own. And that kind of pushes everything back up. What is that stuffing coming through? So, there's your poop. So next you're going to need, we're just going to do felt for the eyes. So you're going to need felt and you're going to need some upholst um, um, fabric glue. So I use this and you can get it on Amazon. And if you don't have this, you can use um, hot glue, a hot glue gun, or super glue, or you know, whatever. But I'm going to use fabric glue, so you need to get some felt and get some glue. If you know how to crochet these eyes, like I crocheted mine, you can go right ahead. Oh. 
I'm not crocheting the eyes with you today. I'm just using the the felt. So let's get our stuff together and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so I've got my white felt and I know it's probably really hard to see. But I'm just gonna start off at the top. You just wanna draw your mouth on. So I'm gonna just start off. I'm gonna try to make the same shape of mouth. So there's a corner, so I can use the corner as one of my mouth corners and I'm just gonna ever so slightly if my pen works ever so slightly come up now keep in mind I don't know how to draw so I might be too skinny We'll do a nice wide mouth. So that's a pretty rough picture, but I don't know how to draw. If you know how to draw, you're probably going to do it way better than me. So I'm just going to cut that out in a great big smile. So you can either use that piece or you can use that piece. Yeah, I didn't shape mine very well. Yeah, let's see what this mouth looks like. I didn't do that very well. I'm just gonna wing it. Great big smiley mouth. So just want to get it kind of all over especially the corners because that's where uh, it wants to pop up so you can just fabric glue a see-through you can put it on top just to make sure those corners stay down so there's our mouth and that's what I did I did the same thing just so you know you're not going to see the fabric glue after so I did the exact same thing with the fabric glue on here I put it on top I can feel it but I can't see it, so you won't be able to see it. So let's see if we can wing our eyes. Um, so we want black in the middle, white on the outside. So I think our eyes are going to have to be more of an oval. More of an oval set. I'm going to draw these together. So hopefully yours is coming out better than mine. I 
I was gonna do like funny cartoon eyes. You can even make the middle of your eye look different. Keep in mind, this is supposed to be a fun little project. So if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. Here we go. There's our poop. This fabric glue takes about an hour to dry entirely. So, a little bit different. Um, you can make your mouth different. You can do whatever you want. But anyway, there's our poop. So, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you in the next video.